This one's on Clementine the music player. I usually don't do like music player reviews, but this one is an exception. Uh, so I was actually looking for a good music player for KDE because you know Amrock 2.0 is craptastic. Okay. Um, it's funny I'm talking about this one because I I uh, don't really like the old Amarok either, like the 1.4. But this one is a uh, a fork of that, and this one I do like. Uh, so let me show you some of the features they have in here. Uh, first thing you have to import your you know your music. So we go to Tools Preference here, and your music library. Okay, so just add in the folder that you want to use, and it'll update it automatically. Okay. Other features they have in here, like the playback, if you want to do, um, you know, you want to disable the fade. They have this, they have this little cool fade that, you, that it does by default. But if you don't like it, you can always remove it. Replay gang, if you want to do, um, you know, level up your, your sound. Uh, behavior, not that important. Songs here, basically, they, this is where they grab the lyrics from. I'll show you that in a minute. Shortcuts, uh, notification. I like the default, but they have some other ones like the pretty OSD here, and you can position it whatever you want. Okay. Uh, is it Last FM? If you have an account, uh, same thing with Magnatunes, and they have this thing called the background um, uh, streams. It's actually pretty cool. I like the rain one, and I'll talk about that later on. But next one here is the Wii mode. Um, it's not expected, but this one is actually pretty cool because I have a Wii mode and I haven't tried it, but you know the idea of it is cool. You just lay in my bed and use this, so I dig that one. Now, after you load up all your songs or whatever, and you have this list on the side, okay, these are all your uh, artists here. Uh, you can actually uh, display it however you want. So let's say you want it to go artist album or by year or whatever. It's up to you. Okay, but this one uses like a playlist or a queue system, so it's not like you know a rhythm box or anything like that. Uh, so it's a little bit different. But let me show you here. If I wanted to play a song, you actually have to add it to the queue here. This is your playlist or queue system here, right? So let's say I double click on this one. See, it adds it to the list here. So I'll keep doing that. You know, it adds it and it'll play it next in that order, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's say for example I add more in uh, let's do double click on that and it adds it so yeah that's how, that's how it works now that this one uses a uh, scoring system so this is how they make the smart playlist they have up top here so you have a smart playlist up top here and uh, based on the score that you have now how does the score works basically if you listen to the whole song you have a hundred if you listen to halfway you have 50 if you don't listen to it that much and you skip it then I have a different score so if I skip this one say next track you see it changed it to 12 or whatever you know the length that I uh, you know was listening to it so that's how the scoring system works you can do this in Banshee too but they have this uh, default here uh, other things they have now here is uh, basically your controls you know, next, uh, pause, stop, and all that. They have this love thing if you love it. Okay. I guess this goes into your favorite tracks, I guess. And they have this thing called ban, but it's graded out. What the hell? What's the point of putting it in there? Okay. Uh, other things here is the shuffle. You want to shuffle the songs, or is this one? Repeat. And right here, this is like they have the little visuals. Now you can change this if you want. Say bar or whatever, right? But let's go back. Oh, they do have this other thing. What is it called? The visualization. This is Project M. Pretty cool. If you know you're laying back and you just want to look at these pretty colors and pretty, you know, abstract uh, visuals. Uh, so that's that. Um, oh yeah, another thing is that this one has a tab for your playlist, so you don't actually have, have to use just one playlist. You can actually use multiples. So let me show you that. They have this little thing up top here, and you add a new one. Let's say, uh, yeah, play two, whatever. Click OK. And now you have uh, two playlists. Now, this one, usually, this is what I do, okay? I go to the all tracks uh, under the smart playlist here, and then load that sucker in. And this one will load all my songs, right? All my songs here. 
and uh, that's how I would usually play it you know just double clicky on it but that's how the tab system works you have two tabs or you can have more if you want um, so that's that uh, another things let's see what else they have here oh yeah they have these uh, tabs on the side so the first one that we have is the library uh, this is what we have in the library and on the files this is kinda like a file you know browser so you can browse into your songs manually okay and play it um, internet basically you have these last FM which I don't have an account to um, some other ones like Soma Magnitunes and some this one uh, is the radio or you can add your own radio stream so that's the internet part devices it can actually supports like uh, was it iPods and some other ones uh, you know MTT, MTP devices if you want you want to use that or uh, I think even hard drives or USB sticks but let me show you what I have I have an iPod like the old one and it does work so let me show you that right now uh, let me see here so this is my iPod let me expand it now if I want to listen to whatever I have in my iPod on my uh, you know computer I can do that let's say what is this in here okay here you go double click on Lily Allen right and it should load it to my list at the bottom here there you go and if I want to listen to it I can do that here right but we'll stop that now if you want to put songs into your iPod uh, or whatever devices you're using you can actually do that if I find a freaking one here or okay let's say we have exhibit here okay if I want to uh, put this into uh, my iPod just highlight it and uh, we're gonna send it to our device here copy to device and if you have more than one you can choose from it right and then you just go click OK and now it's doing its work down here you see that uh, there it goes 100 and now we should go find exhibit there you go exhibit down here and this is the songs that we just uh, you know imported into here so that's how you do the iPod part or whatever device you have uh, other things you can do in here let's say this is your device you can actually go to the device properties and set this up if you if you say you have augs on your computer and you want to import it to a um, you know music player your handheld music player uh, and it doesn't support augs you can actually convert it you know by default here you can do uh, set up your preferred format and it'll convert it when you transfer it Um, so that's that. Uh, so let's go to the next one here. What is this one? Oh yeah, song information. Let me play a song so you can. And then it goes searches on the internet for it. Let's see if this thing works here. Uh, maybe not that song. Let's go to the next one. Hmm, that's strange. It was working. What the fuck? It's supposed to find the lyrics for it. Uh, maybe my internet's not working right now. But let's go to the next one. Let's see here. Okay, there you go. This one is uh, the artist information. And um, basically, you know, they have a picture of it and they have some Wikipedia information. Uh, let's say I go to the next. The next songs. Who is this one? Uh, Shakira. Let's see, you can see all their information. Let's go back to that information. There you go. They have the the lyrics here. If you want to, um, you know, sing along with it. Um, let's go to the next here. There you go. I have this Ashley Tisdale. Let's see if it finds the information. There you go. They have the lyrics here. Eh? Verse one, verse two. So if you want to practice your singing and battle with me, you can do that, fuckers. Uh, so that's what they got on the tabs. Uh, other things, let me see here. Oh, yeah, they have these uh, in the toolbar here. They have this uh, cover manager. Uh, I actually like this. You know, it looks pretty. Uh, you can actually filter it out like the one with no covers. 
and the one with covers this is what I like now if you're missing a cover you can actually use this fetch missing covers it's not like a hundred percent but you know you can give it a try but you see it looks pretty if you have all of your cover okay that's that uh, next thing is the queue manager this queue manager is um, basically you know how you play a song on here um, it actually just adds it to the queue right um, that we did earlier in here we just add it to the queue now if you want to play that song next um, you can actually uh, give it a higher priority and that's where the queue system goes in so you right click on this sucker and you say uh, queue track and this one will actually play next okay so that's why they have the little one here and let's say another one two right and you can see that in your queue manager that's what it does right there uh, so it bypass all the other ones th in that order and give this a higher priority uh, another thing if you want to do like you know tag edit the tag you can do that uh, for the artist too you like I um, wouldn't really recommend it but you can do that organize files if you want to do like a uh, I guess a mass kind of thing I believe there you go they have some other crap in there uh, let's go on to the next one equalizer if you want to do reggae or whatever it is you want to use but they have a, a large list here right and oh yeah this this thing actually has a converter in here so the transcode music um, you know so music player and converter it actually works really nice I tried it okay so let's say you add it in here uh, I'm just gonna do one you see bass here and let's say this is mp3s you wanna convert it to augs you can do that and hit start transcoding simple as that it'll be in the same folder that your original files at so you go in there and look for it and play it if you want but that's dope they have that like built in dig that one update library and that's that's pretty much it that's all you gotta do uh, for that I think that's pretty much oh no there's one more there's the extra here uh, the rain one is actually pretty cool let's say you listen to a song and you want to have like rain effects in the background like let's say you have a rainy day right you know you listen to your music inside your room but you can hear rain outside your room so it's kinda like it has that effect if you turn on the rain but they have some other ones like this was a hypnotoad and kittens but I actually really like the rain one it feels like it's raining and you listen to a song so it's dope um, you know I, don't, I haven't seen that on any other players but that's it for this program Highly recommend it if you're using uh, KDEs, you know, because KDE needs a good music player, and this one is it. Now, it does look nice on other uh, platforms too, like was it uh, Windows or Mac? It does work on uh, those systems too, and it does look nice on GNOME because I've seen some of the screenshots, and it does it looks really nice. I guess because it's a QT app, so it doesn't require a lot of, uh, well, it doesn't require any. KDE library so you can actually use this on a GNOME system too if you want okay but this is it uh, I actually like this uh, you know music play a lot more like I think even more even so than uh, the rhythm box which is was my favorite I guess uh, so check it out if you're looking for a good music player especially on KDE alright that's it for this one